Do you find it hard to make quality new friends as an adult? Well, today, we gonna fix that. What up, homie? My name's Dave, and I put out new videos every single Friday to help you get the girls you want and the lifestyle you dream about. And hey, the quality of your social circle is going to have a huge impact on the overall quality of your life. If you have good friends, they're gonna bring you up. They're gonna lift you up. And if you have shitty friends, they're gonna bring you down and discourage you. So you really got to surround yourself with quality people. The problem is most people have no idea how to meet quality friends. And in today's video, we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna show you the best places to go where you can start meeting people right away, start building up that social circle and leveling up your life. So let's get into it. Before I get into the places, there's one big thing you need to keep in mind. Every single time you leave your front door, you gotta be open for a new adventure. And I'm out here in Mexico City with little Yuki. Hi. <laughs> And a lot of times people, they leave their front door and they're just laser focused on their task. Like, I'm going to the gym, I'm going for a walk, I'm going to the grocery store. And that's fine, like you can do what you gotta do, but you should also have sort of an openness to whatever comes up along the way. If you see someone cool, you can go up and start a conversation. If someone talks to you, you can be open to meeting that new person. You don't have to just be so hyper laser focused because that's not what life's about, man. Life is an adventure. If you treat it that way, you're gonna get into more adventures. So, with that in mind, I, that's kind of the mindset I want you to tackle this with. Let's get into the best places. Boy ain't looking at the clock. Club. Stepped up in the game like rock. Right. Ball boy with the hook can't stop. Can't stop. Let the dread on my head stay locked. Look, always no island. Stay so number one is the gym and. I have a secret little gym here in Mexico City that stays open even during, you know, any type of lockdowns. Don't tell anyone about it, but it's awesome. And the gym is a great place because you're going to meet people who care about their bodies, who care about self-improvement. So you're already going to have that thing in common. You all both like to work out. I had a TikTok video the other day go viral about this exact subject and like got like 800,000 views, tons of comments. Half the people were like, don't ever talk to me in the gym. And half the people were like, Yes, I've made tons of friends in the gym. So, you know, not everyone is gonna be open, but some people definitely will be. And again, it just kinda comes down to being open to adventure. So for example, if you see a guy who's always working out at the same time as you, you can go up and say, hey bro, I noticed we're always working out at the same time together. Uh, what's up, I'm Dave. What are you working out today? The key though is you wanna do this when he's like in between sets or if he's taking a break from working out not like while he's in the middle of doing a squat. That's just gonna make you look weird and, and like you don't, you, you're not socially savvy. But yeah, if you can just have a couple of, you know, quick conversations every once in a while when you're working out, you can easily use that to leverage, uh, you know, your social ability and start building a nice friend group. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh enough to prove it. So another great place to meet some new friends is at hip cafes like this one across the street. So instead of just working from home or studying from home, make your way out to a nearby cool cafe, even like a Starbucks or something. And once you're there, it's pretty easy to start conversations. You can just turn to the person next to you, ask them if they know the Wi-Fi password, ask them what's good on the menu and boom right there you have sort of an end to potentially start a conversation when i first started my online business journey and moved to vietnam this is actually how i made tons of friends and i actually got some good some of my best first clients as well just starting up quick conversations hey bro what are you working on that type of thing and boom all of a sudden next thing i know i get a new client a new friend and Things are just, you know, continuing to go. Once you start putting yourself out there, the world will show you opportunities that you didn't even know existed, and it's pretty cool. Now, bro, if you really want to grow your social circle and have an awesome dating life, then I've got some good news. The audiobook of my new book, The Lifestyle Blueprint, just launched. It's narrated by me, so if you like my YouTube videos, you're gonna love this. It goes so much more in depth than I ever could in a YouTube video. I give you the exact blueprint for how to create an awesome lifestyle for yourself, filled with amazing women, great friends, and financial freedom. I dive deep into each one of these elements so you can do it too. And bro, this is the exact process I use to go from living with my parents to traveling the world and having abundance in every single one of these areas. And guys have been loving the book so far. Reviews have been pouring in like this, 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 and this. 
They speak for themselves. Let's get over six hours of in-depth content that'll transform your life, your mindset, and what you think is possible. To grab your copy now, just hit the link in the description. You'll be able to start listening right away and get your journey going. Again, bro, hit that link in the description and I will see you on the inside. So baby, you gonna need some patience. I already won, now I'm just making a statement. Uh. Damn, baby, why your mans keep hating? You asking about the cake, you here for the celebration? Recreational and pickup sports are another great way to build a social circle. We've started up a weekly flag football game every single Saturday here in Mexico City. And whenever I meet new guys, I tell them about it. And a lot of times they'll come through and we've just grown the game more and more. And a lot of times when we're at the field, we'll actually meet more people. Like we actually ran into one of the professional like Mexican football teams, like the NFL of Mexico down here at the field. And they started coming through and playing flag football with us too. And you know I'm out there slinging it. You know how I do. Quarterback in the field, also quarterback of your girl's heart. I can't stop myself. For real though, it's been super fun and really it's a great way for you to do it too. Whether you start your own game, you show up to a random like pickup basketball game, or you join like a social sports league, there are plenty of opportunities to make friends through this way. As far as how to talk to people when you're there, you can start by talking about the sport and how they get into it, and then ask people you know, what they like to do for fun outside of the sport. The biggest key is to try to organize things outside of the actual game. So if y'all are meeting up playing football, try to get some beers after the game. This is what we've done with our football game and it's been awesome. We've actually got a weekend camping trip planned for this Thursday, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So things are starting to open back up again. We're finally sort of leaving 2020 in the rear view. And with that, there's gonna be more opportunities for you to take in-person classes. Things like salsa dancing, cooking, bartending, and even yoga. Again, life is an adventure. You should be trying to put yourself out there as much as possible. And learning a new skill is a lot of fun. And being at an in-person class makes it super easy to meet new people. You can start by talking about the class, like, oh, like what made you interested in joining an improv class or learning, learning salsa? And since you're seeing these people you know, every few days or every week, you can kind of keep that conversation thread going. You know, Next time you see them, you, you can talk about like, hey, what do you like to do for fun outside of the class? What brought you to the city? And again, you can try to organize get togethers after the class. Like I remember back when I was taking improv classes in Boston, which also helps you with girls as well, uh, you know, we would organize getting drinks right after the class and it was a lot of fun. The whole point of organizing something outside of the class or outside of the sport is that it sort of creates an actual friendship. Instead of just being, oh yeah, that's my football friend or that's my salsa class friend, it's actually like, no, this is, this is my friend friend now. And in order to do that, you gotta be the one to be intentional with it. You can't expect other people to be intentional. You gotta take that step forward. And if you can do that, you can really grow a super fun and healthy social circle for yourself. New swing set. I'ma go for the loop, man. I'm a fruit gone loopy. That's a Sammy the toucan. Screaming out, who cares? My soul bear. I'm done with the cold stare. My heart hang off the tip of my shoestring. Stay untied, that's usual. Co-working places are another great place to make friends. I just signed up for one here in Mexico City. It's empty right now. Just opened back up thanks to COVID. So hopefully it'll be filling up a little bit. But uh, there's always usually people hanging out in co-working spaces, doing work. You know, there's people who are into online business. Lots of good people to meet. And the conversations are super easy to start. You can just be like, hey, man, what are you working on? Uh, do you know the Wi-Fi password? What brings you down to Mexico City? all that type of stuff and you know you're all going to have something in common because you're both doing work remotely or at least you're interested in that type of thing if you're still learning the skill but yeah bro like i said i cover all this in a lot more depth inside the lifestyle blueprint so to grab your copy of that just hit the link in the description grab that audiobook it's also available in digital kindle as well as paperback people have been loving it i know you're gonna love it check it out and i'll see you soon peace out